He gets down. I think he's in. Touchdown. Touchdown, DJ Atkins after about a 14-yard run right there. Yeah, great job. Great. That's the toughest run I've seen DJ have all season right there. He drugged some good guys in the end zone. Great toughness by DJ Atkins. A great job by the Cali offensive line on that drive. And hats off to Matt Napier. Heck of a play call on this drive. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, it it is uh, fun to watch that offense work. You know, Coach, uh, uh, and I know I know there's several aspects of the game. It all comes down to to uh, several different pieces all working together and, and making it happen smoothly. And and people have asked me, you know, how good Callaway is, and I said, look, you know, they're a team team. They're a team playing team. It, it's you know, you you see a, a lot of good players, but none of them stand out because everybody's playing together and well. And, and I don't know if you can give a better compliment to a football team than saying that they're playing as a team every down. And, and that's when I watch Callaway this year, I've got, and I've been lucky enough to watch several of them from, from the preseason to now, every game uh, you've had a team effort. And, uh, and that, that really is a, a fun to watch, and it doesn't happen every day. Well, the kids, you know, we work on that at practice every day as far as the chemistry of the kids, and uh, that's important on a football team. And uh, uh, it's a family atmosphere, and um, uh, the kids, uh, they, they push one another. They believe in one another, uh, and uh, they all just keep working. There, there's a there's a, a great bond on our football team, and, uh, you know, our seniors have done a great job uh, leading the team. Uh, and uh, uh, just uh, it's um, – uh, Coach Donay, he he uh, did the devotion um, Thursday for pregame meal before our pregame meal, and uh, uh, he talked about uh, how special uh, this this football team is, along with all the other teams we've had. But uh, just the bond they've had, and uh, it, it was a great message that he brought. And uh, I, I told the kid it gave me chills just listening to him talk, and uh, uh, he talked about a. Um, uh, a former player uh, that that was uh, would be a senior this year. Uh, he passed away his eighth grade year, uh, Kavon, and uh, and he talked about that relationship with that young man and uh, uh, those seniors and uh, just how he was here with us and and we feel him every day, you know. And uh, uh, that that kind of stuff is really special to this group of kids and that means a lot. The relationship they had with him and his family. Uh, so yeah, little things like that go, you know. That it, well, that's not a little thing. It's a great. Uh, it's a great big thing, and uh, uh, but uh, anyway, very special group of people. Uh, they they work hard, and and they're they're dedicated, and uh, you know they got a uh, they just want to get better each week, and that that's what it's all about. And uh, I think they've done a great job staying level, uh, not getting too high or or too low. Uh, you know, for each game, we just stay level, and we play one game at a time, and that's that's so important as as far as the season goes. The season's long. And, uh, you know, it's a grind uh, way back in January when you start in the weight room and uh, uh, you, you, as the season, uh, you know, winds out and uh, each, each, each week is really important and, and being able to, to, to kind of keep your emotions level is really important. But, you know, I, I mentioned uh, the uh, uh, Coach Donay and the devotion before our pregame meal. I want to say uh, a big thank you to Mr. John McKibben at McKibben, uh, McKibben Funeral Home down in Hogansville. Uh, the, he sponsored our pregame meal uh, this week, and uh, uh, we enjoyed those Chick-fil-A sandwiches and Gatorades, and uh, we, we appreciate that greatly. And I, I talk about that each week and how, how important that is to our football team and uh, what that means. Uh, and, and you never can say thank you enough to, to those individuals that, that help with that, those companies, those churches, uh, all, all the people behind the scenes that, that uh, help, help uh uh, make the the process go uh, go smoothly and uh, uh, again I, all, I always like to say uh, thank you to miss Cindy Stevens uh, she's she uh, is such a huge part of making that go uh, very smoothly uh, uh, miss Keisha Freeman mr. Chuck Freeman they they help me out so much behind the scenes and uh, people like uh, uh, miss Cindy and miss Keisha uh, uh, they, they do so much for our football team and for our kids and uh, uh, you know there it's uh, it takes a special person to do that because there's not a lot of you just you just got to want to help people 
people and and uh, benefit kids, and that that's what it's all about because there's not a lot of glory in it. It's just <laughs> seeing people get better. But uh, you know, all all uh, there at, at schools and football programs across the state, across the country, there's people behind the scenes that special folks that that make things a lot better. And and uh, and I just want to say thank you to all those individuals. There you go. It really is. Uh, we talk about team, and that's part of it. Uh, uh, they're as much a part of the team as the center or the quarterback or anything else because it all all comes together. Uh, we want to mention again, uh, uh, Callaway won big on Thursday night uh, versus Heard County, 24-14. And, uh, and, and one more to talk about that, and we'll start looking toward the future here. But uh, uh, let's talk a little about the uh, 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 Pupwood Classic and how that got started. That, that's an interesting thing. Of course, uh, if you went to the game, you saw the uh, trophy there, uh, and, uh, and that's been around uh, now for several years. And, uh, and, and uh, I would think, I don't know, uh, I probably should ask this for out there because you probably, I don't know if you know either, but I, I would think now Callaway has had it longer than Heard County, but I'm not sure uh, how that record falls out. We, we've been playing the, the Pupwood Classic now for five years, and um, uh, we've won the last four games. And uh, so, you know, we've held the held the tra uh, the trophy a, a long time, and that's really special to our seniors. Uh, but uh, uh, Coach Barron called – I remember – he called me uh, one day, and uh, he, he got talking about, let's name this game something. And uh, and I said, that sounds like a great idea. And he came up with a Pupwood Classic and uh, just something, you know, common between uh, – uh, we wanted to come up with something common between Herd and Troop Counties and, and as far as just economics and, and things that go on. And uh, I thought it was a great idea. And we, we had a trophy company, or he had a trophy company make it, and we split the cost of the trophy, and it's just – Got a got a big stick of wood on it, and uh, it's a big trophy. It's a good looking. It it's a good looking trophy, and uh, it sure means a lot to our kids. Uh, you know, to to have that thing and up in the uh, the locker room and uh, in the uh, multi purpose facility, and they they love to get the picture taken with it. That kind of thing. So it means a lot. There's a lot of pride in that, and uh, you know, both communities. Uh, in uh, Heard County and at Callaway, there's a, there's a lot of pride in their football teams. And, uh, um, again, uh, uh, a lot of traditions on both sides. And, uh, uh, anyway, so so there's a lot that went into that that, uh, that trophy, into that game. And, uh, uh, again, it's it's a big deal to our school. I'm just proud of our, our, our boys for, you know, their work and, uh, again, the toughness that they've had throughout the season and, and preparing for uh, Heard County this Thursday night. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and take another break. We'll come back we're going to talk some more as uh, believe it or not there's only three games left in the season and uh, and uh, and coach is shaking his head like i cannot believe it either and uh, and of course after that the new season begins so uh, uh keep it right here as we're talking saturday morning quarterback callaway edition here at key of lagrange glad to be here glad to have a chance to sit here and talk about uh, callaway football on this beautiful saturday morning but come out and uh, and pick you out of kia and uh, and see about uh, visiting with these uh, fine folks here uh, who are ready to help you find uh, your next car here at Kia of LaGrange on Lafayette Parkway. We'll be back on Saturday morning quarterback and also we've got Chick-fil-A biscuits here for you as well. So come join us. It's Eagle 1023 on Eagle Sports. Hi friends, Jess Lichter here with Kia of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times with me the 16s they gotta go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as 23.5. And you know if prices like these are not gonna last long, come see us today or online at kiaoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title, stop number 19215. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. Russ Brown, owner of LaGrange Equipment and Tool Rental, has all the tools and equipment handymen and contractors need in our area. And if you're planning a wedding, party, tailgate, reunion, or corporate event, LaGrange Equipment and Tool Rental has you covered. Like them on Facebook and see all the particulars they offer. Plus, they're open Monday through Saturday. LaGrange Equipment and Tool Rental, Greenville Street, LaGrange, next to CVS Pharmacy. Phone 706-882-8665. That's 706-882-8665. LaGrange Equipment and Tool Rental. There's a storm coming. 
we may not know its path but your independent auto owners insurance agent knows no matter what happens we'll be there when you need us most strong through every storm that's how it's been for our first 100 years and how it will be for generations to come mallory agency at malloryagency.com for all your insurance needs it's the mallory agency dylan out of shotgun dj stands to his right there's a snap there's a give to dj right up the wow what right a, in. Zone what a run right there by dylan and more importantly what a great job of knowing where that defensive end was <laughs> Yeah, I, I watched him keep the ball, and I was waiting for you to catch up to him because he fooled everybody. I almost thought that DJ had the ball. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, that, that uh, getting a chance to hide the football a little bit and, and uh, confuse the defense is uh, uh, another thing that we talk about is practice, 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 how to, how to place the ball and, and, uh, and get it in there. And, of course, uh, they did a couple of plays where uh, – uh, they did a great job, and appreciate Shane and Andrew who are calling the football games for us this year. They've been doing a great job, and uh, and so uh, a great win for uh, Callaway. We're talking with Coach uh, Pete Wiggins from the uh, Callaway Cavaliers as they went over Heard County 24-14 on Thursday. Uh, it, of course, now we got to kind of look uh, uh, to uh, some things that uh, out there. Uh, well, one, it's an away game this next week as uh, you're traveling to Temple, which is up above uh, Carrollton. Uh, and uh, I know that's going to be a, a big game, and so uh, you're going to uh, get up there and, and have some traveling. And, and, and before we get into the game, probably a good place to mention this is, is the fan support, uh, the cheerleaders and the band and all them. They all, everybody had to load up and, uh, and take off to Temple. And I know, one, they uh, bring, bring it uh, on the road just as well as they do at home, but they, they really do entertain the crowd. I tell you what, we had a great crowd uh, Thursday night. It was, uh, might, I think it might have been the largest Thursday night crowd we've ever had. And, uh, uh, again, a big thank you to our band, Mr. Wamsley, our cheerleaders, Coach Turner, our students body golly I mean I, I normally uh, I don't I'm, I'm focused into the game and, and I don't really hear the crowd very often but I could really hear the student body and uh, and, and but after the game on the bus ride heard the kids talking about how loud our our, our student body uh, the section of the the stands were and uh, our cheerleaders uh, uh, those young ladies they work so hard and uh, uh, you know practicing every day and, and and they they make all these signs and put in the locker room each week and I just want to say thank you to our, to our our students and uh, um, and and how special they are and how special they make the atmosphere. Our band, uh, uh, Mr. Wamsley, uh, uh, he's doing a great job, and uh, and then our faculty and staff, uh, 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 Mr. Laney and the rest of our administration. I uh, also want to say a big thank you to Officer Johnson. He's uh, he's always right there with us uh, wherever we go, and uh, uh, he he does a lot. And I'm talking about one of those people that behind the scenes, uh, Officer Johnson's cooking hot dogs. Or, or he's doing this and doing that, uh, getting coats for the kids or, or something all the time. And uh, he, he's a big part of, uh, uh, again, of making things go round. But, uh, you know, they, they cooked, uh, they had a, a tailgate. Mr. Laney uh, set up a tailgate uh, before the game, and uh, I think they cooked 400, 500 hot dogs, and uh, they had a bunch of Cokes and Sprites and stuff for, for people. And uh, uh, Officer Johnson and Dr. Landry did all the cooking, and uh, I think it was a big time before the game they had and uh, so all that, all that great stuff and it's just making that atmosphere and making making the game go uh, smooth and uh, but that that's what it's all about and uh, again uh, you, you can't ever uh, tell tell people thank you enough for for all the time that they put in and energy they put into making things pretty special but uh, um, you know going back to you uh, we got uh, Temple this week uh, I, I got to mention this. Uh, uh, Scotty Ward is their head coach, and Scotty and Coach Ward and I went to the same high school back in wow. Ramburn, Alabama, and uh, and, and that, that's a cool thing for me. Uh, uh, so I'm looking forward to you know to going north, and uh, I think a whole lot of him. When I was a, a youngster, a long time ago, he he was a he was a standout ball player at Ramburn, and uh, he was he was one of those guys you always look up to, and he he's a great leader. And uh, anyway, he he's uh, done a great job with their football program. And uh, uh, so, you know, it'll be a big road test for us this week. Uh, 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 and uh, we just got to keep grinding and, and pr working hard at practice and uh, 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 doing what we do. You know, I'm, I'm proud of the kids. And uh, uh, at this point in the season, uh, you know, you, I don't feel like, uh, you know, we don't change a lot of stuff. We just keep uh, – uh, keep going with what got us here and uh, but uh, but you'd have to keep working and you have to keep pushing and uh, that's what we'll do and I think the kids expect that and they expect that 
out of one another. So, uh, again, uh, uh, at this point, you know, I, I, I'm proud uh, of, of so many things from the, the Heard County week, uh, the Heard County game, uh, Thursday night from, from all the, the red and black shirts in those stands to the, the performance of our kids. And, uh, uh, and now at this point, you know, you got, we got to put it behind us. We've got to move on and uh, a lot more work to be done. And, uh, but, uh, again, uh, looking forward to uh, hitting the road uh, this coming Friday night. Yeah, I tell you what, and and uh, you know it's 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 nice. One, you know, Thursday games are not always awesome, but uh, uh, when you get an extra day to celebrate and uh, and prepare for another tough opponent, uh, that makes it kind of nice. And uh, uh, and uh, so uh, so it has been. Uh, it, you've you've had a chance to go uh, uh, scout a little bit this weekend, which you usually don't get to do this time of year. And uh, so uh, so it uh, uh, hopefully all will be uh, positive. And and I know. Uh, uh, we it's been uh, we we've talked a lot about uh, how impressive it was uh, going in and taking care of Heard County and of course they played a, a well of a ball game 24-14 on Thursday night. All right, when we come back we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about preparation for Temple. Maybe look into the future a little bit uh, on some other uh, games coming up because uh, you got Temple, Spencer, and Jordan uh, Jordan uh, still coming up and uh, all of them are gonna be uh, tough ball games and uh, and uh, it's uh, every one of them counts. So uh, we'll talk about that and. Uh, Please come right back here to Kia of LaGrange as we're on the showroom floor here having a chance to talk Saturday morning quarterback. And uh, we're looking forward for you to come out here and join us and have a Chick-fil-A biscuit with us and uh, also take a look at some of these great uh, uh, Kias that are out here. Uh, they've got a lot of pretty ones out uh, ready to go into your driveway. It is Eagle 1023 live at the Kia showroom uh, for Eagle Sports. Hi friends, Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times with me the 16s they gotta go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as 23.5. And you know with prices like these are not gonna last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title, stock number 19215. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Here's Dylan on the center. There's a there's great a try play. Michael Freeman. Good in play. It. Touchdown. I guarantee you, nobody was expecting that play right there. What a play call right there <laughs> by Coach Napier. Kind of line up in a wean look. You fake the sweep, Thanks. and you come right back in with the counter tray to Michael Freeman. And Dylan really sold that that pitch. He oh, sold he it well right job. there. Great job. No flags on the play. So a Cavalier touchdown with seven minutes yeah. to go here in the third and quarter. I, and I can't say enough what a great job that Matt Napier's done calling this football game. Well, I tell you what, uh, uh, we're excited about uh, uh, being here with Coach uh, Pete Wiggins uh, as we're live on the uh, Saturday morning quarterback here at Key of LaGrange. And, uh, and Coach, I, I tell you, the, uh, um, uh, not only have we uh, get a chance to – to uh, hear a great ball game and see a great ball game uh, Thursday night. Another one's coming up, Temple, and uh, and and y'all have got to get uh, y'all need a, the fans that came out and supported the there at Third County need an 
all pile into a car together and carpool up to uh, to Temple and uh, uh, and uh, and make the make the stands uh, jam pack and be loud and carry on and have a great time. And and uh, and I know one fan that's going to be there because he didn't have to drive far from his house. Your dad's just just down the road from Temple, isn't he? Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Coleman. I know he's listening to us right now, and I just want to say good morning to to Dad and Rick. I know they listen over in Ramblin right now, but uh, uh, I, I want to mention too some kids, uh, uh, Lashawn Terrell and Jamie Sellers on our defensive line had a big ball game uh, uh, for us Thursday night, and uh, Jamie Sellers, I, I think, had his best game of the year, and uh, I know Coach Bruce is fired up, and uh, you know our secondary, uh, Dominique Copeland, Kobe Jackson, Courtney Williams, uh, those those kids played exceptionally well, and uh, Coach Hubbard, uh, uh, Coach Bruce, uh, uh, Coach Martin, Coach Hayes, Coach Boat, uh, do a great job getting those kids flying around fast, had a, had a, a good game plan coming in, and uh, I know they were proud of their kids uh, Friday night. Uh, on the offensive side, uh, Dylan uh, Braylon, uh, uh, DJ, again, another big game for those guys uh, uh, up front. Uh, big Tex, John, LT, Moss, and KJ, and Jabril Jackson. Uh, Nathan Sapp had a big game at tight end. Uh, Coach Napier, uh, great job calling plays. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you to our coaches. They, they, they bust their butt day in and day out, and they committed to these kids. And uh, um, uh, it means a whole bunch to them. And, um, uh, again, a big thank you to our coaches and, uh, and our staff. And uh, uh, I know that, uh, you know, move, moving forward, big week this week. Uh, every, every week's a big game. Uh, we just got to go back and grind, go back and prepare. Uh, we like to say pick up your lunch pail and come to work. So it's time to get ready for Temple and uh, so, so uh, what, keep well, it rolling. So, so what is going to be the schedule this week for uh – for, for getting ready for Temple. Well, it'll it'll be a normal routine. You know, we don't we won't change anything. We'll watch film tomorrow with the kids, and uh, uh, then Monday it's just back to the get on the field and, and go at it, just like we always do. But uh, not a lot of secrets in it. You know, it's uh, you, you got to get out and you got to go to work, and uh, uh, that's get what our kids will do, and they'll be ready to go. And uh, looking forward to it. It's a, it's another big region game on the road, so uh, we just got to be ready and prepare and uh, 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 be ready to go uh, Friday night. All right, and it's going to be a, a good one. Folks, get your family up, get your uh, grandma your, and, uh, and the kids and load them all up and, uh, uh, and maybe get some friends and carpool and, and, and make a nice little road trip. This isn't too far down the road. It's, what, about an hour? About an hour. hour. And, uh, and it's just above uh, Carrollton, North Carrollton, and uh, this is uh, going to be a, a cool game. I, I, I don't remember seeing Temple on the schedule before. Is this the first time Callaway's played there? No, we were in the region together several years ago, but, uh, you know, we're back in uh, uh, the region uh, together now, uh, both schools. And we went back to Double A. We were in Triple A for four years, and uh, so back in Double A, uh, and uh, you know, not very far up the road. So uh, good stuff for us. And uh, you like playing those games that are not too far away, and uh, 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 some people that you're familiar with, that kind of thing. But uh, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Need everybody to get in the car and go north with us uh, up through uh, uh, up 27 to Temple, and uh, looking forward to seeing those red and black shirts up in the stands. And if you can't make it up there, don't worry. We'll have it on the radio for you. Uh, that game will be on uh, uh, 96.9 and 1240 uh, and uh, also online at eagle1023.com. Uh, so uh, make sure you join us for that there. Uh, and, uh, and if you uh, subscribe to, uh, to our video service, you can watch the game live. If you uh, just want to see all the games, at, uh, some of the Callaway games, if you want to see that play, uh, that second, I guess it's on the second series of the uh, Heard uh, uh, Callaway game, uh, go online on Tuesday. We'll have that game online, and you can watch it for free. That play's worth going and watch the video replay right there. And, uh, anyway, Coach, uh, congratulations on uh, winning the uh, Pupwood Classic, and uh, good luck next week with Temple. Thanks a bunch. There you go. Thank you. It's it. Uh, Eagle Sports. Uh, uh, troops up next. Thanks for listening to the Callaway Cavaliers Key of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on WELR.